we have the potential to do really well. We're really young, so even if we start slow, I think I think guys could pick it up. Uh, Coach brought in a lot of you know a lot of smart guys, so guys could pick it up and we could do well. I think um, best case scenario, you know, top four. Worst case scenario, you know, bottom seat of the playoffs. But we'll be making playoffs. Um, actually, we went to La Chardonnay, just checking out one of the local junior colleges, and uh, we saw Ian play. To be honest. Uh, went to watch, I was going to watch another kid from another team that happened to be playing at home. And he had a really good game that game, and uh, we started recruiting from that one off. Um, yeah, I like playing with Ian a lot because he gets serious when it's serious. He knows how to have fun, like jokes around here and there. Like overall, he's a great guy to hang out with, good person to be on the floor with. Uh, Ian brings a maturity and a toughness. You know, it's his, it's his uh, fourth year playing college basketball now. He's a senior, he understands what I want. And, uh, you know, he, he practices extremely hard and he just brings a maturity level um, that you would expect from a senior to the team. And, and it's good because we've got a lot of young kids on our team. He's one of our team captains and I expect him to be a leader not only on the floor but off the floor with a lot of the young guys. Uh, you know, I expect him to do well in class. I expect him to just kind of show the new guys the ropes, making sure that they're, uh, you know, doing the right things. That, that we expect guys to do within this program. And then as far as on the floor, you know, Ian should be leading us in rebounding this year. Uh, he should be one of our top scorers this year. He should be one of our best shooters this year. So not too much pressure to keep on the guy. My first year here, he's been helping me through practices, through my struggles, telling me what I need to do right, what I need to do wrong. Gives me like a good insight on like the game. My goal is to is to host a playoff game. You know, so finish in the top four. Um, that would be a first for school and, uh, you know, good things happen when you're winning. I met her my freshman year at Hartnell College. She was on the girls team, I was on the guys team and it was about, oh, she could tell you better, I'm going to say February. Three months into we were dating, I said, um, you know, I could, uh, but she seems perfect. You know, I could spend the rest of my life with her, but I'm, I'm 19. You know, who's, you know, like, I, I would always make fun of people who got married early. It's like you don't know, you don't know what you're doing. Um, which, for the most part, is is, is true. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, from that point, I, I figured. My dad always said she's the perfect girl for you. He's met her five years, eight years too soon, and I would agree with that statement. Um, we just got lucky the way things, the way things turned out. Well, Crystal gave me a list of 20 names to choose from, and then I picked a couple. She didn't like them, so she narrowed it down to three, and then uh, Noah was one of them. And we settled, uh, we settled on Noah. She wants all of our kids to have um, Bible names. And both of our parents have been very supportive and they've offered help, um, just you know, just constantly as far as being, uh, being able to be there. Um, my, you know, my parents are still in Hong Kong, so they make frequent trips over here to come play, to play while she was playing, watch her play and to, to help out with Noah. My mom came um, last year when Crystal was finishing up her sophomore year at Hartnell playing, and so that was really tough when we had um, you know, coinciding road trips. Right. And so it was, that was a, uh, a big difference. And her, and her dad has, has done a lot. Now I'll wake up at about 6.30 and then Crystal and I are out of the house at 7. She has class and I have weights and we'll drop Noah off at the babysitter um, at about 7.15. So she's here for class at 8 and then I'll, uh, I'll lounge in coach's office and pick his brain on whatever I feel like talking to him about for you know 20 minutes until weights. After weights, I'll uh, pick up Crystal from class. We'll get lunch together. She'll go home. She'll go to work and I will do some study hall hours and then I'll have class and then I'll have practice and then I'll go home and in that time she'll have gotten off work and picked up Noah. Sometimes there's really no explanation and as a, um, my coach will have told you I may not do a fine job of um, upholding my responsibilities in all facets of my life but uh, you just find a way to, to get it done. The first, when Noah was born, the first couple months you really find out what the body is capable of, with, you know, as far as, you know, no sleeping and lots of responsibilities and just everything, 
everything changes, but you have, you know, it's you know, sink or swim, so you have no choice but to, but to get it done. And luckily, you know, family, and Crystal's been phenomenal, at, you know, picking up her, uh, her duties and making sure I know what mine are. So it's been, it's been pretty easy, but, you know, busy. I, I think he does at times. It's a lot to have on your plate to be just a college basketball player. You know, Ian on top of that is married, and then on top of that, uh, you know, obviously has Noah, his, his young son. And, and that's a lot to juggle with academics, practice time, weights, class, and still trying to find family time. That's a lot. And, and there's a lot of times he does a good job with it, and, you know, he has his moments where he struggles with it. Yeah, I think it's amazing how he's able to do all three. I mean, already as it is, playing basketball and going to school is like very difficult. And at the same time, he has to like juggle like having to support his family. He has a wife and a kid. I think it's like just amazing how he does all three. For me, the hardest part is understanding where to spend my time. At this, at this level, I want, I want to be the best basketball player I can be. It's consumed my life since middle school. And now that it's my senior year of college, you know, everything sort of led to this last year. And I want to spend as much time as I can getting extra shots up or lifting. But at the same time, you know, I have a family at home. And it's not just that I need to spend time with them. But, you know, Crystal has her own agenda. I can't spend an extra five hours a day doing something I want to do. And there's something that she wants to do and needs to do. And there's stuff I need to do. So the tough, the tough part is finding the balance of when, when to go home and when to understand, yeah, I have 30 minutes to shoot. But you have to capitalize. And if you do have a little bit of time, uh, you need to be doing something if you want to be making progress. As long as you be my friend at the end If I go crazy